Welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today let's take a look at this ratio problem taken out of the ACT. It says that the ratio of A to B is 3 to 4 and the ratio of C to B is 1 to 2. What is the ratio of A to C? Now there's a bunch of these kind of questions on the test. The best way to think about it is, you know, if we were to write it in mathematical terms, A to B equals 3 to 4 and C to B equals 1 to 2. Okay, so this is the mathematical notation for what this is saying. Now the last thing you want to know is A to C equals what? Okay, so the best way to think about it is that the variable that is common to both of these ratios, that is B, it's sort of like the same way you would need a common denominator, we need a common value for B here. Because if we're going to compare A to B and C to B, let's compare it to the exact same B. So for instance, we could leave this as 3 to 4. That's A to B still. And then we could change this other one. I mean, 1 to 2 is the same thing as 2 to 4. Or, you know, 4 to 8. Or 200 to 400. So C to B equals 1 to 2 is the same thing as saying C to B equals 2 to 4. So we've just changed B so that it's the same thing. Now we can easily compare A and C. For every 3A we have 4B. For every 2C we have 4B. So we could just say A to C is just 3 to 2. So this is the idea of thinking about it as a common denominator sort of method. Let me write that here. Common Let's say uh, common B. We don't want to call it a common denominator because it isn't that, but it's the same idea of making the B's the same in both cases. Let's try something else. Let's just switch the numbers around so that you can get a little bit more practice with this. Let's say A to B equals um, 4 to 7. And let's say um, A to C, we'll switch up the variables here, A to C equals, uh, let's say, let's make it even harder, 3 to uh, 8. Okay, so now if we wanted to know B to C, now that's going to be our question, pause the video if you'd like and give it a try. If you're not going to pause it, if you're lost here, let's, let's work on it together. We need to make A the same thing. We need to make this value and this value the same so that we can compare B and C. So let's make A the same. A common denominator sort of idea, um, a common multiple of 3 and 4, probably 12. Okay, well, if A to B equals 12 to, well, we multiplied by 3 to get from 4 to 12, so 7 times 3 will give us 21. And then... A to C, well, we're going to make A 12 so that we can compare them. That's our common multiple. Well, to get from 3 to 12, we had to multiply it times 4. So let's multiply C times 4 as well. 8 times 4, which is 32. Now, the ratio of B to C, B to C, we could say that's 21 to 32. Could we simplify that? Could we divide those? Nope, we can't divide it by 3, can't divide it by 7. So that, there it is. B to C is 21 to 32. The idea of this time, on this one, it was a common A. So common A, common B is like the common denominator in both of these. Okay, hope this makes sense. You're going to see at least one or two of these on uh, either the ACT or the SAT. Take care and let us know if you need any help.